that reminds me of the story that Alois Posh is the bass player in the Vienna Philharmonic for many, many years. He came as a very young musician into the orchestra and back of the bass section. And all the musicians were a little bit excited because Abado didn't conduct them all the time, but whenever Abado was there, it was special. So he's expecting a lot. He's standing there and rehearsal starts and he's nervous, but okay, they get through. He gets to the end and he's thinking to himself, Okay, so what was so special about that? I don't, I can't, I can't figure it out. He asks the, the guy beside him, so what was so special? And the guy says, just wait, just wait till the concert, you'll see, you'll see. Next rehearsal, same thing, same thing. Finally the concert comes. Comes out of the concert and he knows. The last recording we did together was the one with Mata and, and uh, the orchestra Mozart in Luzern last year, last March, um, which was special, of course, in hindsight, because it was one of his really, it was the final, it was a um, collaboration between those two who had started you know, half a century before. He um, had, had, you know, the hope, because you never know, but you had the hope that concert would be great and somehow the, the, the work together that they did would be something special and it really was um, but that also I think has to do with Claudio being such a such at ease with her who was one of the probably the few people who was at ease with her because he's known her for so long so she feels comfortable with him that allows a recording like we made with the two Mozart piano concerti to happen He's demanding you to do things, even things which somehow maybe don't work, because nothing, al not, nothing always works. Mm -hmm. But even that common experience binds you together. He trusted you. You were, you were sort of uh, an authority for him, and he, and he immediately put you um, into his sort of family and into the, you were the expert, he would ask you things and uh, expecting you to answer and that the, 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 the answer would be the right one, obviously, because he thought that you were the expert. It was a, so it's challenging. At the same time, um, you know the guy's been making recordings for 40 years and, and who are you? Uh, but uh, it's something that um, you don't feel as so daunting because as a person, he's, you feel him being supportive at the same time. He certainly challenged me more than, than some others. Um, sometimes you, you challenge yourself, which is, which is also good, but, but to have some person who doesn't quite always understand all of the limitations, uh, all of the parameters that you take for granted, coming in and challenging those automatically pushes you further. He was a very, very warm person and uh, extremely loyal. Um, not uh, indifferent though he did get mad if you did something that he, he thought was you know not what you should have done or that not what he expected he would tell you but it was done usually in a way to to help the situation or help you he was very quick to um, embrace people to bring them into his sort of extended family who comes who comes to the meal after a concert this would is not category he's going to think in. You know, people who are who were who were there, who were working, they should be all there. You know, for him it was a very clear, clear concept that making music is a team effort.